Hi, I'm Mick Peterson, the Growth and Development Director at Champion Fitness Physical Therapy, but I was also a high school coach for over 30 years in football, basketball, and track. Here at Champion, we put together a series of informational videos to help you high school coaches with some of the issues that you may be facing throughout the season. In this episode, we have athletic trainer Eric Saxton, who is going to explain to you different ways in which you can handle injuries with both cold and heat. You got an injury and you're wondering how to treat it. Um, one of the most common methods, the first 24, 48 hours, you, all you want to think about is icing. Um, this can be a bag of ice, um, a, a freezer pack, um, just pulling out of the freezer a, to a frozen bag of peas. Um, first, you want to make sure that you want to do some layering basically around it to protect the skin and um, so you don't get frostbite or have any adverse reactions. Um, you want to hold, you want to put that on the affected area about 15, 20 minutes. And what you can do is you can go 15, 20 minutes on and you can go 15, 20 minutes off. Um, basically, and then you can repeat that throughout the day if you need to, as instructed by the physician or the medical professional. Um, and basically what the ice does is we really want to get the inflammation, the swelling out of there. Um, kind of it, it uh, inhibits the cell death basically, which it, um, causes the swelling. Um, one demonstration that we'll show today that's a little different is called ice massage. Basically what you can do, we have this in a plastic container here, um, but at home you can get a Dixie cup, put some water in it, freeze it, and then this is really, really good for ankle, um, elbow, and shoulder soreness. So basically what you want to do, if I, if I have elbow pain here, um, go ahead and you'll acclimate, getting used to the ice. But basically you're just going to go in small circles right around where the pain is. You're going to do this for about 8 to 10 minutes or as tolerated. Um, some, sometimes people need to kind of work up to the time because they're not really good with ice. Another thing what you can do, um, a lot of times with people with uh, plantar fasciitis, foot pain, anything like that, um, get any uh, Pepsi bottle, water bottle, put some water in it, freeze it. What you can do is roll this, uh, put it on the floor, and you're going to almost roll, roll over it with your foot. It's getting kind of two birds with one stone here. We're getting the ice effects, the therapeutic effects. So it's going to decrease the inflammation, some of the swelling, along with the massage on there. Again, with this one, you want to try to do about 8 to 10 minutes um, or as tolerated. Now, after the first uh, couple days of, after an injury, sometimes um, you want to think about is getting some heat to it. What the heat does is uh, increases the blood flow, increases the nutrients to the area, um, and increases the elasticity of the soft tissue. Um, that being said, sometimes you need to play around with the ice and heat and whatever is most comfortable for you, stick with that. Um, but to help get, get rid of some of the stiffness, um, you want to apply some, like a heating pack. Um, sometimes they have like a microwavable heating pads that they sell in the local like Walmart, Kmart, uh, stuff like that. Um, and basically what you want to do, you want to apply over the, the affected area and you want to leave that on for about 15 or 20 minutes. And you can repeat basically, uh, you can go 15, 20 minutes on, go about 20, 30 minutes off and you can reapply 15 or 20 minutes again as tolerated. And the next thing we're going to talk about is uh, kind of an older regime called the, the contrast bath. Basically, you're going to have one bucket or uh, like a hot tub machine um, full of uh, hot water. We want it not scalding. You want to be able to tolerate it for about two or three minutes. And then you're going to have another bucket where it's full of ice water. Okay. So the first thing you want to do, you always want to begin with uh, the, uh, the warm section, the hot section. You're, um, you can immerse your ankle, foot, uh, wrist. Um, hand into the hot bucket for one to two minutes and then you're going to go ahead and take it out and then you're going to place it into the cold ice water for 30 seconds. What this does, it acts, makes your body almost act like a pump. The heat's dilating the vessels and the, the, uh, the ice is constricting the vessels. So it's going to help get some of the inflammation and swelling out of there. You always want to finish with cold and you want to actually repeat this um, about f for about five to ten minutes is, is the usual recommendation but kind of play around with it until you, get you can tolerate it well. Basic tips will basically should help you out in dealing with heat and cold modalities after an injury.